Welcome to Fist Pro, and I might just have to surrender on this one. I am unsure about this, and I'm not sure if this is the one for me. Uh, to be honest, I've been collecting a lot of the Star Wars Legion stuff, but this set, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I love the look of it. I love the bunker. I love how you can look inside of it. We'll take a little bit closer look at that. Um, it's it's really nice, and uh, and there's a picture of the box, and it looks exciting. And I love the fact that they're doing um, scenarios that you can play with your friends. They have a couple acts, and and so we we are really excited about some of these things, but. The problem here isn't so much the things um, for me. It's it's really the the um, the fact of the cost. So this is a really cool looking bunker. Um, but I've seen them on 3D printing. I've seen them from other retailers for a much better deal. I know you get these little cool little computer stands and and cards that you can use and and the different card packs are exciting, but but for me, it's not, I'm not sure if it's enough for me to want to go out and purchase it with, for some, for six cards. Like the cards are great, but I'm not sure if I really want to uh, go out and purchase it for, for six cards. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm torn on this because I love the idea, but the problem is in Canada, this is going to be like $90. And so $90 is a lot of money, and uh, it's it's another corset. So it's, am I going to buy this, or am I going to buy the Clone Wars corset uh, for an extra 10 15 bucks? I think I'm going to go with the Clone Wars corset. I'm not sure if this itself is enough. Um, I, I think it's cool, um, and uh, I would like to get into it because I'd like to be able to play these with my friends. So the only way this is really going to happen for me is if maybe um, my friends and I get together and buy one and we share it. Uh, because, like, it'll be cool to play the axe, but you play them once or twice and you've done it. It's kind of like the gown ATSD. It didn't buy it. Um, not that I didn't like the scenery, didn't like the thing. I got a copy of the cards online, built my own scenery that looks just like it. I made it with AT, -AT um, and uh, played it and it was fun. Um, but for the $50, well, $62 it is in Canada, it wasn't worth it for me. And so this is going to be $90 before tax, so $100. And uh, I'm not sure if I really, really think it's going to be worth it. So um, here's a closer look at some of the cards, as you can see there. And then there's uh, a few other cards here that will just flash by, as I call. Uh, like Rescue Mission sounds really cool in the Act 1. Um, so it's kind of cool that you have these setups and uh, um, defend the fortification act two sounds great missions um, but I got all the information right here on the cards and and do I really want to pay ninety dollars fantasy flight I, I I think it's great you're doing terrain but I think you're pricing yourself so high that it's hard so I, I'm unsure about the prices like your setups are cool looking um, this will be really cool and uh, as I said but I just think it's just a little too high, a little too steep for, for me. Um, uh, I'm all about doing uh, gaming on a budget. I am a father and I have kids and I can't spend a lot of money on, on games. I budget myself and for more out there, is there anybody else that is receiving this, thinking the same thing? I'd love to hear from you. Um, maybe the way to do this is get together with a bunch of buddies and buy it together. Uh, everybody puts in 25 bucks and you have four people and then you can move it around and play it and but we I build terrain so it's hard for me to drop a hundred dollars on this and so fantasy flight I love the idea but I just think you're pricing it too high and that's my first real complaint against your games is just uh, your terrain a little high on the pricing um, and you're not getting anything for those players who just want to play uh, not like they want to play uh, competitively, there's nothing in here for them. So I I would have to say that this is going to be a hard pass for me. Um, I think that this is this is just a hard pass. And so if you would like to discuss this, talk about it a little bit more, feel free to uh, to like it, comment. I'll get I'll love to chat with you in the on the chats or or in the uh, forums. I'm always on the forums, taking a look at what's going on. And uh, so. 
hey, hit that like button, punch that like button, punch that bell, and uh, subscribe. I'm looking to get to 500 subscribers so I can start doing some giveaways. Uh, and I'd like to even build higher. Let's keep this going and uh, make it worthwhile. And uh, I plan on putting out videos pretty regularly. Uh, I'll try to do it whenever there's an article. Uh, it takes me a little bit of time to get things together. I got to work around my job schedule. But here we go. Um, so the bunker, I think, is Iron Pass. Well, thank you, and see you later.